Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only. Boy, the market bounced back strong today. I think this could set up for a nice week, but we will see. The growth stocks did take a beating again though, and that includes the EV stocks. NEO out there had some bad news. We're gonna discuss that, as well as Xpeng, Lee, and Tesla. How are they doing compared? Or, you know, where are we going with this? I'm gonna talk a little bit about Ethereum as well, and how I'm going to be staking some of my Ethereum moving forward and showing you what I'm doing. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I'm Stock Mo, an old financial advisor and teacher. Now I do this YouTube thing. All I ever ask, hit the subscribe button, annihilate the like button, and absolutely crush that bell for notifications. Hit all, and that would help me out. Now I do have some links down below. People were asking me how I'm gonna be trading the stocks and everything else. I'm looking at the Moomoo app right now. They're gonna give you up to four free stocks worth up to $3,350. They're gonna have access to the markets over in Hong Kong and in China, and you're gonna be able to get access to some of the biggest IPOs coming out over there including TikTok so it's going to be something to take advantage of so hit that link get the free stocks deposit $100 or more and then I have how am I going to be staking and a lot of people ask me about this and I'm going to be using Coinbase so you can see that I'll have a link down below I highly suggest taking advantage of their services over there and that is where I buy most of my Ethereum when I'm buying as well so I'll have that link down there and of course if you haven't gone over to the BlockFi yet take advantage of their interest rates they got under crypto they got the credit card, which I just picked up myself with the Bitcoin rewards. There's a lot of good things going on. And of course, come over and join me at the Patreon. I have that link down there where I have all my portfolios, what I'm buying and selling. And of course, the private Discord with thousands of members. There's a lot of good things to take advantage of down there. So I would appreciate it if you would. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum right now. And you're seeing it that for the last month, it's up 67%. I want to start out with this because of course there are opportunities. Like I said in, in the beginning there, you can get the interest rates which I highly uh, suggest doing that at BlockFi. You're gonna have those interest rates and they have the different levels you can. And then of course you have the staking, which I like as well. I'm gonna be doing a combination of both and doing that over at Coinbase. It's an easy hit of a button, you're in there. And so I like that. But remember, if you stake, you can't get it out until Ethereum 2.0 is fully done and they release everything. But the rewards are really good for that. So I am highly recommending going over and making sure you got that account ready. And you can buy a lot of cheap stuff there. But with the Ethereum right now, uh, you can see it's at 3152. Take a look at this, up 67% so far in the last month. Because I know a lot of people are seeing this thinking, okay, hey, look at the day though, down 5%. Once again, I've been buying this for a very long time, dollar cost averaging. I did add on my normal Monday purchase of Ethereum today. It was in the low 3200s. It dropped since then, of course, and that is something that's just, like I said, it can go up and down five to 10% daily, if not 10 to 20% daily in any given time. I'll show you that one more time to make you feel good though, 67% up. I continue to dollar cost average into it, and I will continue to do that. I do expect to see it over the long run here, hitting that 4,200 or more by the end of the year. We will see, we're getting closer and closer and I'll feel good as long as this stays above 2,800, I'm feeling okay and we'll see where it goes. If it starts to drop under there, I'll just continue to dollar cost average, but I actually might even pick up some more additional Ethereum, but I'm liking what I'm doing and staking over at Coinbase. So if you're wondering what I'm gonna be doing, that's it. You can stake by yourself, but there's a lot of things you gotta know and make sure you read into that. I like it over at Coinbase, it's pretty straightforward. There are other places as well, but that's where I'm utilizing. Now take a look at the market. You're seeing that the, you saw a lot of red today. If you've been watching, it starts out, look at my five stock or my four stocks just get hammered today. So it was not a good day in the portfolio, especially when these are your big ones. And of course the Dow Jones up again, I've been saying this, money's rotating over to there. Uh, the s and still positive. And of course, look at the Russell and the NASDAQ, both getting clobbered. And so the Russell was down 0.89, the VIX is up, the NASDAQ is down. And so that made for a combination of growth stocks just getting beat up on again. I'm hoping tomorrow we see a little bit more positive there and we can see some green and we'll find out. Uh, we got a lot of things going on in the market, but the big thing, remember, I wanted to show you the Hang Seng and and I've talked about this and this stock, look at this, down 4.76% over the last month. If you take a look at the S&P 500, that is up by 0.19%. That's a 10% difference right there. 
that's why I like the Moo Moo app because it's going to give me opportunities to take advantage of some of them depress, uh, the uh, depressed prices over in the Hang Sang and be able to start cherry picking some of those stocks. So that's one of the reasons. Plus, I want to get the TikTok IPO. So that's why I'm having that out there. And of course, as we look into NEO, take a look at this thing down 5.83%. We all saw the news, what happened, but is this the reason it's down so much or are all the stocks getting beat up? And that's where we get into the Chinese EV startup NEO denies deleting, modifying data after fatal road accident. There was an accident. We've seen this with Tesla through the years. And you had somebody uh, who was using their navigation on pilot engaged at the time of the accident and they were unfortunately uh, died in the car crash. And so there's a lot of news out there with this. And of course that is never positive. And, but and this is where I look at the price. Like I said, we've seen this with Tesla as well. And you see it at 38.62, took a big hit down, kind of recovered a little bit, still dropping, but it's down that for the day. So I wanted to go over and look at XPOM and they're down even more. And so that gives you an idea that this was not just hey, this is affecting NEO. This is affecting a lot of companies. You can take a look at Lee as well. They're down three and a half percent. All of these EV companies got crushed. And what about Tesla? They're based, they have 40% of their sales out of China as well. They got crushed today. So all these stocks down, you know, three and a half to six and a half percent. It was a bad day for the EVs that are related to uh, the Chinese market. And this is a combination of the government oversight. You got the accident. You got just the uh, numbers coming in worse than expected with the manufacturing growth over in China. Put it all together and you have yourself a rough, volatile few days, hopefully not too much more than a few weeks. I think the support over there will come out just like we have the Fed here in the States. They have their monetary policies that should help to alleviate some of the stress on the market. And that is why I like to add a little bit in when I think that's gonna come out and we can get a quick five to 10% bounce on some of that, those stocks. So I am looking to continue to add in. I am looking to add on some additional stocks. Uh, I'm looking at Tesla and I am looking at X Pung Lee and Neo. And of course I am looking at some of the other stocks over there that I think have been just oversold to the point that they're steals right now. But there is risk there, and I get it. Like I showed you the S&P 500 compared to the Hang Seng, there is definitely a risk. We got the Dow, the S&P getting up there, the new highs almost daily, and you got the Hang Seng just dropping like a rock. Now, eventually, the values, the valuations of each market will give you an idea where we can make the money the easiest after all the monetary policies are done, and you're going to want to look at the fundamentals. So there's something to be said about that, and that's why I'm setting myself up for making sure I can trade over there with the Moomoo app. Now, as we look here, though, like I said, with NEO, there are some bad press out there of course but there's always good you can take a look at this article as well big canadian pension fund hikes its position by 40 percent we talked about this before how they were adding on last quarter they reported uh, they went from 192,000 shares up to 270,000 shares and they continue uh, to add on. I think you're seeing a lot of big comp uh, companies. I was going to say uh, hedge funds, pension funds out there adding on. I agree. I continue to add on. If you look at the long term, not just the week to week, but think years out, NEO is a steal. They should continue to just explode in manufacturing, sales, all that good stuff. And they're looking at the global marketplace, which is fantastic. So think about it now. They're pulling in, what, 8,000 cars in manufacturing a month. They should be up, I'm thinking in the next year, be able to have an annual production of around 240,000 per year. That puts it about 20,000 cars per month. That is a big increase from where they are right now. Uh, what is that, 150% increase? So I like what I'm seeing, and I do believe that NEO is absolutely going to crush it. My NEO stock price prediction, of course, I have it at $60 by the end of this year, and it, it hurts to see it get hit here. I'm not changing that at this point right now. I want to see how everything goes, and we'll see what happens. Like I said, if it doesn't hit it, I'm going to continue to buy through it anyways in dollar cost average, but I still think it has that shot to hit that 90 to 100 next year and 60 this year. I watched, an, uh, we watched Tesla last year when I said it was going to hit 600 or 600 to 650 by the end of the year. It was only a 400 in November. And the same people out there yelling about, oh, there's no way. Why would you say that? And they ended up hitting 800. And so you never know what's going to push this forward. Uh, we could have some treatments, some vaccines. you got things for the virus that's affecting. They have shutdowns over there. We can see things change rapidly 
when we have advancements and some of the things that are affecting the overall global market. So I am just gonna stay positive, continue to dollar cost average through this, and I definitely love my NEO stock. I think Tesla as well is at a great price right now. It's 686, we're seeing it drop back down after today's $31 loss. The overall EV market got hit. Anybody with exposure to the Chinese market got hit. And uh, that's something we've been watching now. It's like catching that falling knife, I said. But eventually, we will see that recovery. Once we do, I want to be able to take advantage of that. So take a look at the analysts out there, what they think on Wall Street. Right now, we can see 73% uh, upside potential. Look at this. NEO is now at a $67 price target for 12 months based on Wall Street. This is what they think. This is tip ranks. Have this link down below if you like this information. 73% upside potential. That's what the consensus is from the top analysts. And then we get over to X. Pung, they have it at 91.55% upside potential based on the top analyst, $72 price target. Wow. In other words, you, when we see these prices get up there in the 50s and people are like, oh, if it ever goes back down to 30s for NEO, I'm jumping on while well, we're here. And so this is going to be one of the moments where I think in the long run, a year, two years out, and you're going to look back and say, oh, I couldn't believe I could have had this in the 30s. That's how I feel. So I always look in the long term. I'm very uh, positive about this and thinking about how when I'm buying it because NEO is going to destroy the competition as it continues to expand. And of course, they're creating a new brand, which is also downward pressure because of the cost related to that. So I am paying attention to all that. And of course, Lee, they have a 48% upside potential over the next 12 months. And the other of the best stocks to buy now, of course, this is one of my favorites. I have to have this in every portfolio. Tesla it only has a 14.67% upside potential, according to the analysts over the next 12 months. So right now, looking at this, it is Xpeng who has the highest, NEO close second. I think NEO is actually gonna outperform all three of the competitors there over the next 12 months. So that's how I'm looking at this. So if you haven't taken advantage of it. I'm going to be doing some more videos on how I'm going to be staking my Ethereum. But one of the places I'm going to be doing this at is at Coinbase. I do have that link down below. If you haven't done it yet, I know they have some promotions over there. Take advantage, sign up. And uh, I always tell people too, if you're out there, you got your kids who are 18, your, your spouse, get them involved, sign up for an account for them as well. Uh, everybody can, I have my own kids having their own accounts. It's a good thing to do to take advantage of and to help them learn financial stability, how to prepare for your financial future. So I always tell people, even if you have an account, get one for your spouse, get one for the kids that are of age and start to invest, to start putting money in there. It's soon as, the hardest investment you will ever make in either crypto or in stocks is your first one. Because after you get used to doing it, putting your money in there and spending money on you and your future, instead of going out and buying a $500 uh, pair of shoes or something like that, that's when you start working towards that financial freedom everybody should be striving for. Now, I do have the link down to Moomoo as well. Highly recommend that. Up to four free stocks worth up to 3350 bucks. And of course, you get the access to the Hong Kong Exchange to free trades in the United States as well. Lots of good things there. And then uh, I do have the Block 5 for the credit card. We got the rewards, the interest. They got a lot of good things there. So I'm combining these three and going to take advantage of them and just see what we can do moving forward. So if you'd like to follow along, you can hit those links, do the same thing I'm doing. You got a deposit to get it, take advantage of some of those rewards. So I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.